My name is Dr. Jens Hilgers. Uh, I'm the chief of multiple myeloma in uh, Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center in Buffalo, New York. PET CT, CT and MRI are the techniques right now we use to diagnose the changes in the bone marrow and in the mineralized bone, the skeleton of our myeloma patients. The myeloma cells are coming from plasma cells and they are part of the immune system and the immune system is everywhere in the body. And so we really need a whole body imaging to see where the malignant parts of the immune system are in, in case of multiple myeloma. And that's the reason why we use so-called whole body MRI and whole body PET CT. We want to see the, the plasma cells, those myeloma cells. Plasma cells is the healthy version, the myeloma cells is the cancer version. Uh, those myeloma cells, they are mostly residing in the bone marrow because the bone marrow is the place where blood is formed in, in us every day. To, to diagnose the disease, we need the biopsy imaging with MRI, which is a rather sophisticated way to detect those cells in the bone marrow. Of course, the biopsy has a higher resolution because we can look at it on the microscope and we really see the cells, single cells, while the MRI shows a broader area. We do those biopsies usually on the iliac crest, on the pelvis, because there are, it's very easy to get there with a needle and it's not very painful for the patient. But we know that the myeloma cells are not always only there and we do a biopsy there, we don't know if we maybe miss something here or here. And so I do whole body imaging and try to develop more sensitive imaging techniques to find the other cells that we don't catch with our measurement of blood, of urine and of this bone marrow biopsy. MRI shows mostly the infiltration of the bone marrow, while the CT part of the PET CT also show mostly the destruction of the bone. As we mentioned, it has uh, these osteolytic lesions, they are seen in the CT part. The PET part, the posturon emission tomography, is also a rather newer imaging technique. This is used to see where cells are that are very active, and cancer cells are very active. Some other cells are also active, but you can differentiate areas in the body where there are very active, aggressive cells needing a lot of sugar, because that's what we measure there. There are new developments, and we are also helping to develop new so-called tracers, kind of dye of, of, uh, for PET CT which is more specific for myeloma because myeloma is not that aggressive and the cells are not needing that much sugar compared to other cancers, for example. Um, so we are trying to develop new traces um, to, to be more specific to show, okay, this is really an area where the myeloma is very active.